What is going on guys? So John Prosser has just leaked the dates of when the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, the next generation Apple Watch will be launching. There's some very interesting stuff, some stuff that I don't necessarily agree with, some some details that I'm kind of sad. In this video, by the way, we will be talking, of course, about those dates and um, on what these iPhones will actually have. So without freaking further ado, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, let's get started. All right, so here's what's going on with Apple. Apple will release the Apple Watch and the new iPad the week of September 7th. John Prosser hasn't really specified what exact date it is going to be. Um, make sure you guys go follow him because one of these days he's probably going to be like, it's launching tomorrow at 4 p.m. Knowing John Prosser, that could actually happen. Week of September 7th via press release. This is something that is kind of crazy. And uh, that's the thing that I don't agree with at all. I'm very sad because this means either two things. One, the Apple Watch Series 6 will be a very small update, but it doesn't really make sense. I mean, if we're taking a look at the Apple Watch Series 6, what's rumored, if we take a look at this chart by the Apple Hub, links are down below for the Apple Hub, Series 6 chip, larger battery, blood oxygen tracking, improved water resistance, navy blue color option, mental health capabilities, September launch. The rumors are saying that it's not a small update, but then John Prosser is saying that it's going to be released via press release. Now, I'm I'm very mad about this because, you know, I'm a huge Apple Watch fan and I love, I wait every single year for, you know, Tim Cook to get on stage and be like, this is the new Apple Watch. But this isn't happening this year. And I don't understand why Apple is having an all iPhone keynote. There's going to be a presentation from Apple that there's only going to be new iPhones. No Apple Watch will be mentioned. No new iPad. That's all going to be released via a press release. And I'm confused. I don't agree with this at all. I'm, I'm furious. I mean, I don't know what's what's up with Apple. Maybe Apple will surprise us. Maybe Apple will give us an, an explanation for this. Let me know in the comments down below right now what do you guys think of Apple releasing the Apple Watch via a press release. I, I'm, I'm furious. Good thing though that it's coming September 7th, which is literally soon. By the way, this is what I'm also thinking. Apple doesn't have the iPhones ready they have the Apple Watch ready. That's why they're just releasing the Apple Watch and they don't want to wait. And then in October, we will be getting the iPhone 12 event, which is late. Uh, usually we have a, a, an event in September. We will not be getting an event in September. We will be having the week of October 12th. And pre-orders for the iPhone 12, not the 12 Pro, pre-orders will open the week of October 12th and shipping week will be October 19th. That is far away. And then iPhone 12 Pro models will ship um, on November. John Prosser hasn't specified, but that's crazy. That's crazy that, you know, Apple Watch and iPad are coming very, very soon. I'm excited about it. What will the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro have? Well, here's what the iPhone 12, once again, thanks Apple Hub for these amazing graphics. 5.4 inch and 6.1 inch OLED displays. 5.4 inch is a very small form factor phone. So if you love small form factors, phones like me. I love my iPhone SE because it is so incredibly small. OLED displays. OLED displays, we will not be getting an LCD display on um, on a flagship iPhone anymore, which is great. Aluminum and glass design, flat square frame. So we will be getting this iPhone 4 boxy-like design, which is great. Potential new colors, light blue, light purple, and light orange. Same size notch and improved Face ID. A14 chip, four gigs of RAM, dual lens rear camera, 5G support, lightning port, and will start at $649. I will say that again, $649, that is some very, very impressive, impressive pricings. iPhone 12 Pro, 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch OLED displays, stainless steel and glass design, flat, potential new color, navy blue, A14, six gigs of RAM versus four gigs of RAM, triple lens, and we will be getting lighter. 5G support, lightning port, no USB-C, and starts at a thousand bucks. I don't understand um, the 12 Pro. There's barely anything pro about this phone. According to the rumors, Apple always surprises. But as of rumors right now, I mean, it's it's kind of it's kind of frustrating because you know 
We're, we're, we're not getting anything too special about these phones, about any, and then there's not really a big difference between the 12 Pro and the 12. The 12 Pro will probably be getting a better battery life, but that's pretty much it for all the date. That's pretty much it for a basic overview on what will these devices have. I get, I, I get furious. I, I get very mad looking at this because, you know, I love my Apple Watch. I want the Apple Watch to have a keynote. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say